Professor Live. What's up, Live fam? Before we get into the video, be sure to check out globalhooper.com. Today we got a late summer collection dropping, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to check it out. It's my merch, it's my brand, globalhooper.com. All right, today I wanted to react to this video because Bone Collector is somebody who I've played majority of my career with. A lot of you guys on the comments and everything will always be like, you need to play Bone Collector one-on-one. Y'all -on -one. gotta face off, boom, boom, boom. Because he's a great player. Very captivating, a lot of attention on social media. Um, what you guys don't know is that we played together from I think 2009 all the way really up until the current day. We, we were touring up until about 2015, 2016. So that was about seven, eight years. And then like even today, we'll still play together whether it's like for a video, for a campaign, for an occasional exhibition game, a tour, whatever. But like we're good friends, like his, you know, his his kid, I'm like the godson of his kids and stuff. For us to really go combat doesn't really, it's just not really in us, you know what I mean? Played together a lot. I feel like like I've learned a lot from Bone's game, like like as far as moves and stuff, like really took certain attributes from his game and incorporated into mine, and he's done the same. You know, he watches all my videos and we kind of like compliment each other. So um, that's been cool and like a little tidbit of history that a lot of people don't know. This uh, clip that I'm about to react to today was probably the most viral clip of his career. He's had some pretty viral clips, but this one is extra special going against world renowned, you know, possibly the greatest boxer of all time, Floyd Mayweather. You know, the fact that he's got more than 50 wins and zero losses, pretty incredible. After this one, a lot of people were saying he took his first loss, you know, theoretically, so to speak, the first knockout on the basketball court. Let's check it out. All right, shout out to flighthype.com for this video. Make sure to give them a subscribe. Looks like they got some of the best angles on it. Like there was a whole bunch of re-uploads of this. All right, let's check it out. BC in the backcourt, bringing it up against Floyd. He's too close already. Already too close. Whoa, okay, hold up. I'm gonna pause that. Okay, I found this really interesting that Floyd Mayweather was Dean up Bone Collector this close because myself, Bone, and Floyd have actually played in several celebrity games together already. And Floyd always showed us love. Like, Bone and him are like, cool. Like, there's no animosity from this, like people might think. Um, I remember I was at a celebrity game. Actually, you guys probably don't, people don't even know this. I was at a game where Bone wasn't even supposed to be playing in, and Floyd actually was the one who said it's okay for him to suit up because a lot of people were like, yo, you should suit up. And some people, even on our team, were like, nah, that dude, that dude can't play. Nobody knows him. Boom, boom, boom. And Floyd was like, nah, he should play. So Floyd was familiar with his skills, but he must not have been ultra familiar with like how hard it would be to guard bone like, like at an arm's length away. So in my opinion right here, he's way too close. And obviously either he, ha he hadn't, played bone firsthand or just a little unfamiliar with his work. So I thought that was interesting, but I know that Floyd's a competitor too. So he probably was talking trash and he was like, you're not gonna get me with those moves. But immediately that's what I noticed, way too close. Whoa. All right, let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. I think Nick Cannon was the MC that said, you don't have to do that to yourself. A lot of people here, Snoop Dogg, Gronkowski. All right, so crossover. That's what let Bone know, like, through the legs was easy, because he wasn't thinking about that. And then this was just like a simple pullback. And he, he, he may have pushed off like barely, but not enough. The fall was just a fall from the quick stop. Let's see Nate Robinson, Terrell Owens. A lot of people here at this game, a lot of notables. Like you can't, like, like basically in a basketball or street ball or exhibition or celebrity game, you can't beat that kind of moment when it's kind of like everything stops, the energy's there, everybody's going crazy and having a good time. Like that's what you play these games for. 
So there's more footage. I don't know what else they show. Okay, Terrell Owens misses a three. Bring it back. Shout out to my homie Rasheed Bird over here. Big dude. Played with him for a lot of years. Wait, I didn't see this. So he isolated him a second time? Okay, he's sharing it now. I saw some clips of Gronkowski from this were pretty solid too. The other mix from this was too long though. Like I didn't wanna I didn't wanna react to them 15 minutes long. It's too much. Uh, Floyd tried to drive. The bone's strong. He gets a hand on something. It's, it's going to be tough. Whenever Bone and I played, it really was like a foul fest because we're both so competitive. And it's like, if he fouls me, I got to foul him back. That's how that goes down. So I don't know if there's any other notable clips on this. Uh, I guess the clock ran out, they didn't even really know. There it is. Shout out to flighthype.com. Make sure and check them out, subscribe on YouTube. Also it says video courtesy of Villainfy Media. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and Instagram at Villainfy. Anyway, there you have it. Floyd Mayweather found himself wrong place, wrong time. Bone collector, legendary street ball player. It's one of the craziest handles. It was a bad day for Floyd, but you know what? Hey, it's all in good fun. I think if anybody plays good defense in basketball at any point during their career, you're gonna get crossed over. If you play good defense and you're big, you're gonna get dunked on. Like that stuff, just, stuff is just bound to happen. Yeah, so anyway, shout out to Floyd. Shout out to BC. It's good work here. Had to react. All right. God bless. Life fam. See you guys soon.